Welcome to Comfort Green on YouTube. Today we're going to be looking at the experiment that I did a couple of days ago with my aircrete foam with regular Portland cement and I will show you today what the difference between aircrete foam and aircrete plain foam what we did. Yeah in the previous videos we had uh, my experiment that I had done was actually this pail right here and if you watch that previous video you'll know what we did for an experiment but I'm going to show you what it looks like and what the contents remember we had this full of the foam I had mixed this all off this is what ended up occurring to this whole pail as you can see it shrank well well down below half it's down to a quarter maybe less this bucket right here believe it or not weighs 13 pounds three quarters kind of heavy this is this one here is actually the actual air grid itself as you can see I'm not forcing as hard but you can see that the actual product itself doesn't have the same faith as this. This is the one we're talking about. It's a little bit different. This bucket, believe it or not, weighs three pounds or three and a half pounds. Three and a half pounds and 12 and three quarter pounds. Ah, sorry about the uh, exaggeration with my little bit of uh, making it still like it was heavy, but it actually is kind of heavy. So we'll start with the easy one first, which is the one we just did, which is actually uh, the cementation material that we just kind of poured with the aircrete foam. This is the aircrete with the C, we'll call it aircrete C. As you can tell, it's, it's fairly hard. And by evaluation of my glasses on, when I evaluate this product, I'm seeing it's got a very, very porous material. It's actually very, very light. Okay, and wait. I don't know if this light's gonna do any justice to us. Creating a blinding glare. But we'll change it. So you can see it's actually a very porous material. Um, my evaluation of this, if I was to evaluate this for R value, I would probably say it's got very little R value. Like it's very typical for a cementaceous block with air rates in it. All, all it does is basically design to lightweight, make a lightweight cement, which is actually achieved a very lightweight cement. I can literally blow through this and I can run water through this and it'll actually be just like a, that's like a sieve. So R value wise, I wouldn't give it very much. Lightweight, yes. Uh, structural strength, not so much. I can break this off. I did break a piece off it. So it's in the mediocre range. And that was my experiment just for the ha ha's when I fired up the trailer on that February beautiful day. Here, we're going to have an aircrete product, the actual real aircrete product. I'll do the drop on the table. As you can see, it did powder up pretty easily, meaning this is very friable. But the difference between this one and this one, this is extremely light, very friable. This is a lot stronger and light. This one over here has an R value. The only reason this has R value is because of the matrix that's been put together. Uh, that term is hard to understand, but let's, let's like say it's just basically just like taking a little ball and having a lot of hairs growing out of the little ball. That's the best way I can describe it. So this little hair is tied in everywhere. So in here, we've got a lot of little fibers. Some will call it pexels. Some will call it basically crystal growth. It's a little bit of both, okay? So we got crystal growing in here, and we get fibers growing inside the product with the chemistry. This one did not have it because the chemistry wasn't there. All this did was just what we call agglomeration. That's just basically a paste holding or a glue holding all the raw formations together. And that it with a lot of air in it, so it basically forms itself around it. So that's why we say this has no R value. This one, because of the fact that it grows crystals and pexels, we get a little more R value. Then we go to regular cement, another sample. As you can see, a regular cement is actually very heavy than all these two put together. This little piece is actually outweighs this one, but this is the lightest. But this one, as you can see, there's no air pockets in it. But it's basically the same cement. But the reason behind there's no air is because we didn't have that foaming agent, which created air. So my end result is here, a lot stronger. This one over here, light, but great insulation property. This one over here, a light block, not very structural, but it's actually a lighter block to work with. So if you're installing blocks up in high areas, I guess this would be all right to use. But as far as the evaluation goes, all I can tell you is great R's, great lightweight, great strength. Pick your weapon. It depends what you want to do. So every product has its purpose. You want to build a house, you want to use this guy, you want to insulate a house, you want to use this guy. You want to build an outside gnome or whatever not, or a little water work outside or a little fountain, something that you can move around in and out of the house, flower pots, uh, fake turtles, all kinds of good stuff, fake rocks for you, waterfall on your gardens, great. That's what you can do with this one over here when advising for insulation. All right, that's it for now, and have a great day.